Hello everybody, this is Ptolemyos here, and um, I'm here bringing another commentary game, um, and uh, this time it's uh, me with Kire Autumn, uh, and a bunch of her fans. Uh, so, I'm up top as Tarek, Kire is Renekton, 4th Shadow is Swain, Mikai is Twitch, and Activism is Malphite. Uh, and the purple team is Line Shot 2011 Karthus, Honeydew Bear is Ramus, I Dien, I Dieden, I Dieden, I. I'm so sorry. I really don't know how to pronounce names. He's Vain. Park Gasu is Rumble, and John is Shako. So, uh, the lane pairings is gonna be Renekton versus Rumble, Tarek and Twitch versus Ramus and Vayne, Swain versus Karthus, and, uh, Malphite is Jungle and so is Shaco. So, uh, overall, this team comp, um, personally, I think that, um, Blue is stronger. Uh, just because we have, uh, a support on the team. That's a little loud. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. And so, uh... Item check so far, we CV'd uh, them to have... Doran's sword, uh, Doran's shield, boots, and that. I start off regularly as a, with a support as a uh, fairy charm, three wards, two pots, and uh, two mana pots. Uh, and yeah. So uh, Ramus just dis uh, disconnected there. So um, it's gonna be Vayne one v twoing a Twitch and Tarek right now. So uh, not much is gonna happen right now. Uh, mid lane is farming. Twitch is farming. So it's um Rumble versus Renekton up top. Shaco comes in for uh to see if he can uh steal a buff. Um he's there in our jungle. And uh, there's an early gank from uh, the Shaco. Doesn't work. Um, Malphite comes in for the gank and uh, he also misses. Ramus has reconnected, so. The purifying element. And we have something going on. Oh, it looks like. Um, Karthus just flashed over the trap, so uh, he's safe. Now, uh, since I know that Shaco started at Shaco started at uh, red first, and I saw him at blue, I was trying to see if I could gank him, but uh, he already finished blue, unfortunately, so uh, I couldn't gank him. And uh, I left the creep there, so then it res uh, his respawn timer isn't reset. However, uh, I would actually recommend that you kill the the last creep. One, you're getting extra experience, and number two, you know when the respawn for the the golems is. This way, if I left the since I left the creep there, I don't know when he goes back and finishes off the creep. And uh, we have a gank in mid. Uh, first blood goes to Malphite with an assist. Uh, Kirei tried to dr dive on. Um, Dive on Park there and uh, accidentally died. Um, Twitch gets caught out and uh, gets killed. And uh, apparently he had some lag. <sighs> and so one thing um, that you don't want is to lose so many creeps at the tower. So uh, as a support, you can when your AD carry isn't here to take some uh, take some CS. It's okay. 
Contrary to popular belief, it's perfectly normal to ta for the support to take some CS. And here's a gank from Shaco. And he gets killed. And here's a gank. And uh... Just harass. And uh, there's a large creep wave being pushed in to Kirei's tower. And uh, since I know that Shaco just revived, I'm afraid that he uh, is gonna come and gank bot, so I put drop down the ward now. Unfortunately, he was already there. So uh, I heal baited him. Uh, heal is a very good uh, uh, summoner spell now to pick up on a support. Just heal bait them and it's fun. Mid, uh, fourth shadow has blue. Um, he's gonna probably dominate his lane, I think. Uh, let's flash. So, uh, I stun Vayne, Twitch, um, unstealths and tries to kill her. Ramus stops that, uh, Vayne blows Flash in, but she gets away. And a uh, Malphite is invading Shaco's jungle, and uh, nothing much happens. Oh, he kills Shaco, and I'm not sure if he survives here. I think he does. No, he doesn't. So, um, Karthus gets red buff, but so much. Uh, but Fourth Shadow still has blue. Uh, Rumble versus Renekton. And Renekton dies. So now, although this, um, like the lane comp down bot Vayne with Ramus, it is a good team comp if you're able to get the, the taunt and the power, the um, power ball, I, no, not power ball, the um, armor thing, w whatever it is. If you're able to get both of them off while Vayne pins, uh, and after the taunt duration is up, Vayne pins them to a wall, it's a really good combination. However, it, the thing that this comp lacks is healing. So if Renekt, uh, not Renekted, Ramus maybe went for a, uh, maybe went for heal or something like that, maybe he would get it, he would win. But uh, otherwise the team comp, the team comp is a, a little weak. And so um, Rumble chases after uh, Malphite and uh, they back off. So, um, Swain's blue buff should be wearing off soon. And Shaco DCs. So, uh, yeah. Malphite's jungling. So, Kyrie is calling for a gank up top, but uh, Malphite is in your bottom, so can't really get a gank up there. And uh, Fourth Shadow gets a kill on Karthus there. 
and we're pinging that we want to gank Vayne. Uh, I stun, exhaust, everything. And uh, we blow flash, and I'm not sure if... Yeah, we get her. And now uh, I'm taunted back into the turret. But uh, nothing really happens because he's too far. He can't pull me back in. Uh, what I wanted there was, I was hoping that he would be closer to the front of the turret around here, so that Twitch could shoot him, but he accidentally walked back and uh, before I landed the stun. So a quick item check. Um, Renekton has a long sword. I have a um, philo stone and I'm building into a heart of gold. Swain has a philo stone to for mana. Twitch has sword and boots. Nofet has dodge boots and armor. Um, Karthus, tear and building catalyst. Ramus has cloth and some pots. Vane went three blades, so uh, she was really desperate, I guess. Rumbo has revolver and boots. Shako has building his wriggles. And so yeah, it's gonna speed up a bit, I think. No, guess not. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the problems with low replays that when you unpause it, you're gonna see a lot of minion attacks flying. And so uh, I saw there that uh, blue was passed off to Karth. So I estimate the time to be around 155 that they have the blue. Um, what you want to know is uh, that regular buff, so blue buff and red buff spawn every 5 minutes, dragon spawns every 6, and baron spawns every 7. So Activism going into Shako's jungle. Um, since Shako reconnected, uh, what I w should do is uh, get a ward ready to place into the jungle around here so that I can watch both the dragon and our. Uh, and over here to make sure no one's walking in. Putting it over here would also be fine, but uh, you you run the ran the chance of someone uh, jumping down and then going. And so um, Twitch get initiate got initiated on, but I stunned Vayne to prevent stuff from happening. Um, Twitch goes stealth. And that's a kill for Karthus and a kill for Rumble. Uh, Shako deceives over the wall, and he goes. And Swain now switches on to Rumble. Uh, Rumble gets away with Flash, and nothing much happens. Um, now Karthus is missing. Uh, he's back in lane. So, uh, now I know that Shako should be up by now, and that's why I put down the ward. I don't want him to gank us. And you can see that it kind of looks at the opening as well, so then we can see people going in. Now, when you work top, this is actually a really good place to put it. And so they're ganking top, three man gank. Not sure if they're gonna make it work. There's the 
the cage and and they survive. Karthus comes up and Kira, uh, Renekton dies. Malphite also dies. And but we get the kill on Karthus. And so uh, Shaco's over here. Uh, I see him running down. I'm not sure whether he was actually just being in the bush, or uh, whether he was actually going mid. So I CV'd and uh, we saw him going into mid. So uh, Swain's gonna move in there. Not much happening down bot. Twitch is getting harassed by Vayne. She's wasting mana because I have my Philo Stone, which basically means that I can heal Twitch as much as I want. And also, I do have Summoner Heal, so that's a lot better. Now, I get taunted here, uh, and, uh, Twitch, uh, I blew heal and, uh, the thing on, uh, and, uh, the, the heal and my heal on Twitch, uh, but, uh, that was a two for one trade, I think. Malphite isn't able to catch Bane. Up top, Rumble counters uh, Renekton because of his flamethrower, and since he has life steal, he Renekton really can't do much. So uh, all poke countered. One of Renekton's strongest point is to dash in, stun, call the meek, then dash out. However, Rumble can activate his flamethrower so that when Renekton jumps in, it doesn't work. So they're trading damage, and now uh, Swing comes up top to gank, gets the kill. And uh, here we said we wanted to do a uh, dragon, but uh, we see Shaco and Ramus there, so we tell we say to back off. And so I think Shaco gets away. Uh, Karthus dies. But uh, in exchange, we lost the bottom turret. Um, yeah. So we count the dragon to be around 18 minutes, so plus 6, that would be 24 minutes. And so a good thing to get against attack heavy teams, so stuff like uh, people like Vayne, Ash, any AD carry who attacks a lot is to get a frozen heart because of the uh, the attack speed slow. And so uh, he's out of position, gets caught. I think Renekton also will get caught out of position maybe. Yes? No? No? No. He will not get caught out of position. So a uh, quick item check right now. Um, Kiri has her phage building towards her brutalizer. I have my heart of gold and flow stone. I'm building towards my aegis. Fourth shadow is building. I think rod of ages. Twitch has his black cleaver ready, and Malphite is has his sunfire cape. Karthus is building his rod of ages. Ramus is building thorn mail, I guess. Vayne has her bloodthirster. Uh, Rumble ha has his hextech revolver and is building up to a uh, Rylize, I think. Shaco has his wriggles and Zerker greaves.
Yeah, so, um... Swing complains that we fed Bane, but, um, really, she's just two and one. It, I think that's the same. Oops. They destroyed the turret up top. And, uh... There's an engage down here. Renekton has 400 and something. Flashes over the wall, I think. Yeah, flashes over the wall, runs. And, uh... Gets the trap. Shaco jumps. We and they catch Rumble. And so uh, Twitch is pushing. He kills Karthus, and uh, Karthus does a rage ult. No one gets killed. And so what we should have done here was we should have backed off, however I kinda got greedy and uh, I stayed around a little too long, I wanted to go get a uh, Vayne. And also I saw Shaco there. So I uh... I think I might get caught out, I'm not sure. So uh, I killed the last creep so I count that as the time that their red respawns. So 21.45 so that'd be 26.45 for their red buff. If we're in the jungle, we can pass by and grab it. If not, then we know around what time it's respawned and we could set up a gank for it. Twitch down bot, farming, Ramus is missing. Now, uh... I start warding, because I think it's time for dragon soon. So, uh, we see Ramus and Karthus there. And uh, I tell Swin to back off. So Shaco was already there as well. Vayne also runs in. Vayne chases. And uh the minions finish the the top uh the middle tower and uh me and Twitch are pushing down bot. And so an attempt here by uh, I rumble to try and get uh, Renekton, but he dies. So it's a one for one trade. And now uh, me and Twitch are now going to mid to try and gank them, but they started backing off. Twitch moves in, and we f go in on the vein. And uh, one thing we did bad there was a. Uh, we all walked into the wall. Uh, we actually could have walked over here, and I think we could have not walked through the wall. And so, um, big creep wave here, someone should have taken care of it. One important thing is that uh, you want to keep all lanes pushed against them, so they have to respond to you, rather than you respond to them. So people like Sivir, people like Teemo, people who have really good pushing, uh, and can hold their own really good. And so I'm pinging for a dragon now. However, all of them are up, so that wasn't really a smart idea. And uh, we get engaged on right now. We focus, uh, we exhaust Vayne, stun her, uh, I th yeah, she survived that. Twitch goes down, and, uh, I'm gonna go down too. So, uh, we lose that engage there. Uh, it's because Malphite and Renekton weren't there, and it was a 4v, uh, a 3v5, I think. So, I tell... Uh, Kirei to push top, but uh, that was a bad idea because uh, once they're done, they're, they see this huge minion wave, they're gonna go up and push it and stop it. So, if Kirei didn't leave, we would have actually uh, then uh, she would I would have told her to back off. Rumble tries to flash and 
fails. And uh, Kiri gets caught out. And so, uh, Swain and my fight are going up to try and catch them. Shako deceives and is able to get away. I don't know why Karthus just ulted. I think they were high enough HP. Yeah, the, I don't see why they ulted. So. Unfortunately, I would have given Twitch sight, however, uh, my clairvoyance was down, so I couldn't do anything. One thing that you should always do as a support is to stay with a group instead of down here farming bot. So everyone's engaging right now. Drop the trout. Slows them down just enough right before the thing. And so I don't know why he does that, but uh Twitch goes and shoots Ramus. Now let's get a quick item look here. Um Ramus has a thorn mail, and coupled with his with his armor thing, that is a lot of damage rebounding. And Twitch has three percent life steal. So if you calculate it, that is equal to twenty percent of the damage you're dealing bounced back at you. That is a lot of damage. And so that's why he dropped so quickly. What he should have done was either focus Karthus or Rumble, not not uh, not Ramus. And so, uh, Kiri gets the kill on Rumble. That's the triple kill now. So she killed Chaco, then she killed Rumble, then she killed Karthus. And that's the unofficial quadra kill to Kiri. Congratulations, Kiri, you got a quadra kill. Could we have? We could have done Baron right now. If we had, um, yeah, I had wards, I could have dropped one over here, one over here to see them coming, and then we honestly could have done Baron. I think Kiri has enough damage. Yeah, we ha she has Brutalizer. Yeah, she could have done Baron. Because uh, Swain was also getting blue, so we definitely could have gotten Baron right there. I don't know why, like, if when you get a quadra kill on the enemy, and you're that close to Baron, and you have three people, I'm pretty sure you can easily do Baron. Unless if your team is under farmed, under itemed, then that's a different question. So, uh, Shako's here. One thing you want to remember to have is to have map control. Points you want on the map is over, either over here or over here. Over here if you if you haven't taken the the middle towers yet. Over here if you have, and then over here if you've taken the bottom tower. Over here if you haven't. And so uh, Shaco deceives over the wall. Over here, over here if you haven't taken the tower over here if you have. And so uh, we're about to have an engage, so uh, Swain lands a very nice cage, Rumble drops the L, we're all standing and everything, that's just a lot of damage we're taking right now. I use my heal, uh, Karthus uses his ult, and uh, fail flash there. Don't think that we didn't see that. Uh, Vayne gets away unfortunately, and uh, we take their blue. And so, we'll, again, what we should have done here is either run immediately to Baron, or go push another tower. And I think we're saying to do Baron right now. And that is an okay idea. Uh, Twitch died, so we're missing a, a nice source of damage. However, I think that we have enough damage that we can easily do Baron. So actually, what we didn't realize is that they were all up already, so... 
They're gonna be coming any moment now to Baron. Excuse me. So I ward. And she flashes in there. We grab Baron though. And now we start. Uh, exhausted immediately killed. We kill Karthus also again immediately. Uh, Shaco goes down. Renekton goes down though, unfortunately. Uh, and Ramus goes down, and that's an ace again. And, uh, so that's a 5 for 1, and we also have Baron. And, uh, once again, let's have an item check. So, Renekton, Warmogs, uh, Phage, Brutalizer, probably building into an Atmos. I have my Aegis. I don't know what I'm gonna build into now. I have 1,800. I think I'm probably building my Starks after this, just to give the aura to everyone else. Uh, Swain has his Frozen Heart. Probably gonna fish, finish, either build a Death Cap or finish up his Archangels. Twitch, probably gonna finish up his Phantom Dancer. Malphite, um, build some Resist. Karthus is either now going to build his Bull of the Ancients or his Deathfire's Grasp. Ramus is building into his Frozen Heart. Uh, Vayne, probably going to get some attack speed now so that she has most of her damage. Honestly, once you're done one damage item, you should build your attack speed and then build the second damage item. Rumble, building his defense, probably an Abyssal Scepter or a QSS, I think. Shaco, building his Trinity Force. And so uh, the score is 30 to 18. Creep score, currently Venus the highest, with Swain coming up second. Uh, Twitch in third. Renekton in fourth. Then Rumble, then Malphite, then Shaco. Then Ramus, then me, so supports regular. Uh, and yeah. So let's continue. I do not know what that sound is. So, uh, I have a ward, so we could actually ward one side of the jungle just to make sure that we have vision to know where they're going. I know we should back off now. Don't know why Twitch is staying behind. And so yeah, we're backing off now. I ping someone to get this. And now I use the ward to tell us to let us know when they're coming. And we quickly go grab Dragon Shackle comes, we back off immediately because that means that they're already here. And uh, we let them start Dragon that's pulled out so that we can easily grab it if we have to, and I ha walk in there, and we don't get the dragon, but we get Ramus, and uh, we're and we're going to get Karthus as well, and so uh, yeah, I, I thought that he wouldn't be able to hit me there, so uh, he dies, rushes in, we kill Vayne. Chakra deceives out. And I heal Swain. And now Swain wants to go in because he's tanky. He actually is. He has a lot of health and he has a lot of armor, so he can actually tank the turret. He catches him in the snare, but he flashes and gets away. So top is being pushed, Shaco's goes and uh, clears it out, and we're pushing down bot. Catches them. He gets the wall down, and Swing gets taunted. He takes on terror aggro, and we take down Karthus again. 
Uh, he ults, I heal, swing just in case. But no need to worry. Yeah, so honestly, that's not a lot of damage. Even against Twitch, it just dealt a little less than 400 damage, I think. That's honestly not a lot of damage. So when I go back, I grab wards. And I'm pretty sure I'm asking right now what everyone. Yeah, do you guys want Starks or Soul Shroud? Because, uh, after Aegis, uh, basically any aura items that you can get are good. Also, to finish up your Fellow Stone into your Shrelia and into, finish your Heart of Gold into Renduin, uh, you don't always have to finish it into those items, but those are good items because you can use it to initiate or to disengage. And so, uh, one thing you want to do when you're, uh, when, when you're, uh, building, when, when you're pushing lanes is, if there's a clump over here, push it out and then take out, take out an extra line of minions as well. So we drop the pink ward down because we want to catch Shaco and Vayne. Um, Twitch takes a lot of damage from the tower. Shaco goes down. Vayne? Yeah, Vayne kills Twitch. We take... Ramus. We take Ramus. Vayne gets killed by uh, Swain again. And we're just diving. And Kiri gets another kill. So Malphite is running out now. Um, that's the GG. And uh, that's a good game. Uh, thanks for watching this commentary. Please like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Don't down, thumbs down. Because uh, that's just mean. And uh, thank you for watching. This is Ptolemaios. And I'll see you next time. Bye.